But uh, basically, I've been super busy this week, I'm moving moving stuff all day as a little hint. And um, yeah, now it's time to hit a push workout. But I wanted to update you guys on how the bulk is going. So actually, from last video, you guys saw. Um, so from when I started bulking and like uh, coming off of traveling, I came home. I said I was 165 pounds. Basically. Uh, right after that or right after the bulking video I gained 10 pounds so I was about 9 pounds so I was about 174 175 and then I got sick again I actually caught a cold so then I dropped back down to around like 170 168 so I'm feeling better now it's my my second workout back I hit an arm day but it was kind of like a light arm day and that first workout I did wasn't like a super good workout so I've had Two, two and a half like really good workouts uh, since I've been back, but yeah, appetite's been low still. I still got like residual stuff, you know, lingering, but uh, I feel good. I've been strong. Even when I came back sick, I, squ I squatted uh, like a decent single. Normally, I'm like horribly weak, but when I was sick, I tried to make sure that I was e still eating as much as I could, like mixing chicken broth, broth with rice just so I can like stomach it down, but this is where we're at right now. And that's in clothing and everything. So, you know, still pretty light and I did not eat how I wanted to today. So tonight I'm gonna weigh myself again. But yeah, we're up a little bit, you know, at least we're moving up. So, you know, we're not just staying down at that low weight, which is nice. And um, honestly, it hasn't been super hard. I haven't had to force feed like horribly much. I've just been kind of like pounding food, having food easily accessible. And just like those type of things, it's been kind of a big thing. Um, but yeah. Screw it, I'll just tell you guys. I'm moving out of my parents' house, finally. Um, and it, it literally, it's just fucking crazy. But yeah, I'm moving out of my parents' house because uh, once I stopped going to school, I stayed with my parents to save money a little but so with your guys support you know you guys running out my codes and everything um i've been i'm able to move out so yeah i'll show you guys the place probably next week uh when i'm all moved in we still we got a bunch of stuff over there but yeah it's it's really exciting i just it's honestly unbelievable like you know i'll probably make like a separate video in itself but i'll just throw this in here like um thank you guys so much for just you know showing the support showing the love I know I could be posting a lot more now and uh, but you guys are you guys are always like so motivating to like get me to keep posting and stay consistent but once I move into this next house guys I promise it'll be it'll be so much better for content so much better for everything um, I, I literally can't wait to go over there because I just know I'm gonna wake up one morning or the I know I'm gonna wake up and like it feel like my home and you know I'm gonna be I'm gonna be I don't know, I just feel like less stressed out and for some reason in my mind and like just in my body is telling me that um, I'm going to be a lot more uh, motivated like living at that house and you know really really trying to because you know I got bills to pay, I got you know I got people, uh, animal slash people to support and you know um, it wouldn't be possible without you guys so I'm just saying thank you real quick right now but yeah. All right. Um, I know you guys know the workout from the title of the video, but me and Adam are gonna go hit a push day right now, late night, at the Muscle Factory. Hopefully it's not busy. I doubt it's gonna be busy. But, yeah, I'm trying to sweat a bunch today, so I'm gonna be making my pre-workout with a lot of water. Um, that's kinda been helping me get a sweat going. Cause if I don't get a sweat, I feel clogged, or like something's not right. Um, but, yeah the go-to stack I showed you guys this last time, but Gorilla Energy, Beta Alanine, makes you all tingly and itchy, and it it, just, it gets it gets your body and mind right for the gym, before the gym, because you can feel the tingles, it's like, all right, gym time. And then I add, for push days, for I add um, Gorilla Mode Nitric. So, pump, stim, tingles, check, 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 and uh, yeah, I'm gonna be, be ready. Also, I haven't ate much today, like I was saying earlier, so 
this is this pre is gonna hit. That's a little trick. So if you if you wait like two hours, like after you eat two to three hours, and you're just about to get hungry, um, right when you reach that moment, take like your big pre workout dose. You it doesn't even need to be big, but you know your stomach is like there's not much in there, so it just absorbs everything into your body. And the stim's pretty crazy, but it's not really good because you're missing out on calories. Uh, your appetite's usually pretty bad after taking pre workout, so I don't recommend doing it all the time, but you know, for a little deadlift day, you don't want too much food in your stomach. Bro, I can't even lie, my energy right now is an all time high. It's too high? Yeah. yeah, because this dude was snorting ammonia like 50 times. I, just, I saw one video. How many times have you snorted it? At least 10. <laughs> At least 20. Let me, let me try oh, there's it. so much shit back here. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> we got dog food and shit. What's back there? Oh, okay. just, just, throw, just throw it over. There you go. Yeah. Did you, bring it? Did you bring it? Yeah, of course, bro. Are you kidding me? Let me try it. Bring what? He got this like new, freaking new high tech smelling salt shit. My roommate uh good this doesn't use it. Look at this way. You put it in your nose and like you like squirt it oh. in your nose, but it got in my eye. Oh. Like I tried doing it and it got in my eyeball. Bro, it seems dangerous. The squirt? Cause how do you know how much you're getting? No, dude, wait. Is it like... Let's do this, ready? Someone give me their nose. No, let me do it myself. No, I gotta do it's it. It's liquid? No. Just like, put your nose up to it and like... Oh, I see how this is gonna work. But how hard do you squeeze? Oh, like, just to yeah, get yeah, the yeah. air out. Put it now. Is it liquid? <laughs> wow, that's strong. Yeah, it's Holy good. fuck. Try it. Don't don't squeeze it too hard. You could probably just sniff it no, right now. Yeah. Sniff it. You, you, get, you, put, you gotta put your nose up to it. No, put your I nose up to it. it. I know you can smell it, but put your it nose up. It smells exactly like hair bleach. When you're bleaching your hair, that's what it smells like. Closer. Closer. Oh, so you gotta get the it's head. Not that bad. I don't need it, that. It like, wakes you up, like laundry. But. <laughs> Like shot, like it kind of it kind of clears out my nose a little. Go all right, sinuses. All right, we're heading to Muff Factory. Hopefully, it's not too busy. Um, are you benching? Do you wanna? I don't wanna bench. Nah, I'm not, I'm not bench. Yeah. All right. Climb, we're not benching. Today, today, we're gonna be showing you how to look fucking sick as fuck. Aesthetic, huge ass upper chest, big ass shoulders, massive triceps. Um, I feel yeah. like a bitch for not benching. Kinda. I haven't been benching for a couple yeah, months. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. Shut up, bro. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking about, Al? <laughs> Come on. I swear. Guys. Okay. <laughs> Adam, did I did I tell you guys Adam's Gymshark sponsor now? Everybody go comment. Fuck yeah, Adam. Everybody go comment that right now. Um, also, uh... There's a girl out there with her. Yeah, after. Okay, don't put that in there, dude. I don't know dude. <laughs> oh, I gotta tell you something. No, I should get. Adam said he's feeling full today, so I had to break out the body armor and slam it real quick, just just so my pump's like slightly better than his. Is that good? Yeah, try it. All right, guys, we're gonna do a body armor taste test here. <laughs> not not sponsored. Not sponsored. That's my first time drinking body armor. Pretty good, right? Sort of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sort of Coconut water in there. And that's when I look at myself deep in the mirror. In with my, my Calvin's soul, on. With my Calvin Klein boxers. <laughs> in the Calvin Klein outlets in outlets of here, Arizona. And I look at myself, I'm like, damn. At least I'm as fuck, all right? <laughs>
guys, I haven't done flat dumbbell press in a very long time, but we're gonna we're gonna go for a little PR today. So let's see how we go. Oh my god, I forgot the smelling salts. I could use that. That would have added like five reps. Just a little smelling salt, actually. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, come here. Nah, I don't believe you. Oh, come here. Let me read it. Let me read it. Dude, just trust me. <laughs> what, what is it? I'm not gonna fucking like drug you. Is, is it smell salt? <laughs> Might be. Right, I'll do it. It'll just, it'll get you. <laughs> Bro, why? Come on, you'll have the best You're set of your life up. after this. Bro, I'm done. <laughs> He's I'm done. Alright, we'll wake you up on your drive home then. No, I already took pre. <laughs> That's like three. <laughs> Back in the day when I was like really going fucking psycho in the gym, and like I still do this sometimes, but I would just like pose until like I was literally fucking sweating, exhausted, like, and I would get a pump from it, and I would be like, holy shit, I've never looked like this before, and I'm not even lifting, I'm literally just posing in the fucking bathroom. First thing I would do, literally when I first started lifting was, I want to say three months into lifting, I'd immediately get home. After hitting the sauna, after I was on my lift at our house, I'd go home immediately, and I'd go in the bathroom downstairs, and I'd immediately just start hitting poses. And my mom and dad would be like, "What are you doing? Like actually seeing how your muscles like work? Or, like you're not gonna be able to like look good." Yeah, I'd say bro. definitely wear a fucking. Doesn't matter how you look, wear a stringer, wear a tank. Wear that shit under your sweatshirt. You don't even have to take your fucking sweatshirt off, bro. Just like because the day the day you walk into the gym. 
and you know you have the stringer underneath and then you feel that fucking 10 out of 10 pump and you're like this is the day i'm gonna yeah. fucking show people the fucking physique for the first time if you're not wearing that stringer underneath that'll never happen bro it'll never fucking that's happen. true that's true you start you get like warm and you get flushed and your cheeks are all red and then and you, you have your and you have your, your first pair of calvin's on you got your first pair of fucking calvin's on and you finally feel like those guys you like youtube guys <laughs> Don't be afraid to like fucking sling it in the gym, bro. Adam, I've seen you hit that thing a thousand times. Guys, the sets are not recording. Adam is still hitting this every time. I'm hitting the knock. All right, let me hit it, let me hit it, let me hit it. Let me hit it. I'm so wide right now, dude. Also, if you don't play Skyrim, if you don't play Skyrim on the PS4, like classic Skyrim, just some main quest line, killing all the men and shit like that, and you're, you're not gonna get to where fucking. You're not gonna. I can't. I can't keep saying this out. Loud. Yo, run up, run up. If you're buying Gymshark shit, run up uh, Adam's link. Go fucking on his IG.